Patrick, sir, last time we were in court, you had testified on a previous occasion relating to a change in responsibility between you and your wife as far as taking care of certain financial obligations that the family had. You recall that testimony, sir? Yes. Okay. And you said that at some point, your wife, because she was pissed at you because of what had occurred in relation to this proceeding, that she, in fact, began taking care of the finances. Is that, ac is that accurate, sir? Uh, no, uh, it wasn't because she was pissed at me. That was something that I mentioned in relationship to this overall uh, world that I live in. I, I, I think that I told you that she started to look and take care of more finances because I was about to be incarcerated. And she had to take more of a hand. We never had a joint account until that point. All right, so is your testimony, sir, then, that the reason that your wife, in fact, began handling some of the finances is because you were incarcerated and not because she was pissed at you? Well, I mean, two things. One, if you ask two questions in one, so let me separate. All right, let, let me, never, let me, ahead, let me yeah. just ask it yeah, more clearly then. Funny. Did your wife start taking over the finances because you were unavailable to do it? Because you were incarcerated, for example. I think that out of necessity, yes, there's a compulsory need for the finances to start to move, many financial decisions to start to move over to the person that's there on behalf of my family. And I believe that that continued in our relationship for several reasons, not because as you tied it, just because she's pissed at is a reason that she continued to handle the finances because she is pissed at you. Well, I don't think she's, uh, I, I, I think that there's a time and space where uh, the emotion that took place for the revolutionary year that we both experienced in 2008, where people are upset, angry, and mad. Yes, I believe that that's one reason. I also believe that she did better at it than I did. I also believe. Uh, let me stop you. She's better at handling your finances than you are. Well, I believe that she's more appropriate to do that because she's a handsome person. So what you're saying now is, in fact, she's at home, correct? Yes? Your and, Honor, and you're I'll working. Say, hang on. Yes, you're, because she's repeating his testimony. We're just going over the same yes, stuff. Yes, Mr. Ringus, let's try to hear what you Well, he's not being very responsive. No, I, 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 I disagree. Okay. Now, does your wife write all the checks in the household? Not all, no. Does she write a specific set of checks? Objection is to uh, form what a specific set of checks means. Certain bills, does she write certain bills? Um. The reason I'm having trouble with that question is because I'm, I don't know if she writes checks, if she pays them online, or if she, you know, if she does some things. Sometimes I write it, I guess. But All right, let, let me approach you. The overwhelming majority of the time, she either does it online or does it by check. I don't know. All right, if I can approach you. Sir, I have given you. Excuse me, I'd like to see what it is that's being shown to the workers. Council has it. It's I don't know what it is. It's, it's People's Exhibit 54. Yeah, she gave me this last time. That you had last time.
Well, Your Honor, let the record show that I'm giving the original back to the witness, and I've got a copy of it in my hand. document that you produced <coughs> for the court and for the prosecution, is that correct? That's correct. And it lists the bills that you've indicated last time we were here in court that you are responsible for within this new relationship that you have with this with your wife, as far as splitting the bills and the responsibility of the bills, correct? Uh, it's not a new relationship with my wife, it's the bills that I'm responsible for for caring for the house. These are the bills that you are responsible for? Yes. And do you pay these bills? Yes, with my money, yes. And when you say you pay these bills with your money, what money are you referring to, sir? What specific money are you referring to? Your paycheck from yes. Havison? Yeah, uh, excuse me, Your Honor. Money is fungible, so therefore, all money is money. I don't think that if you put money into a bank account and it comes from one source or another source or a third source, unless you have sub-bank accounts, that you can distinguish one from the other. Well, there you go. It's the first statement that I agree with Mr. Schwartz about. Your Wait honor. a minute. Hold it. You got this now? TV? This is news. Go ahead. What's your stamp? If you want me to leave, you want to just do this yourself? No, you're not. I'm sorry. Track. So, I assume there was an objection there. Was there an objection, Mr. Schwartz? No, actually, I think it was a comment from uh, the assistant counsel, and I, I made a comment back, and That's it was true. a colleague, I guess, is what we're going to say. All right, well, let's keep, keep the colleague until after we're out of court. Let's just have objections, and I'll make rulings, and let the practice then goes from both sides. So, the, uh, I guess the objection is sustained. Let's get a more definitive. I think what Mr. But Ms. Soringas was probably asking, is this money from the COVID center or from somewhere else? Is that what your question was? Because he said his money. So I just wanted to know what specific money are you referring to, sir? The, the majority of the time, this money comes out. I, I, I would believe that the majority of the time, the money that's paid for these bills comes from my check. Uh, but of course, there are the times where you know, my wife can pay money from the sources that she gets. Your check from Colvis Sensor goes into what account? Um, it goes into my account. Which is what? My, the one that says Kwame Kilpatrick. The checking account you're referring to? Yes. The joint checking account that you and your wife had together, sir, did these bills, were these bills paid from the joint checking account? I don't know how, which account you paid them from. So these bills that you are responsible for, that you tell us, your wife is in fact paying through the joint checking account. Is that correct? It's, again, I don't know which account that she pays them for. I don't want to miss it. But she pays them, not you. Objection, Your Honor, is that she pays them unless we get a definition of what that means. She pays it with money that he gives her. Who's paying? Well, you can you look across. She pays for these bills through money, through checks that she writes through the joint checking account. Correct. It's the third time. I don't know from what so when she pays those bills. Uh, as I said, the majority of the time, I don't know which account uh, that she uses. 